My point is this. The earliest accounts that we have that have chains are not complete chains. The early Sahaba, the, the Salaf actually in general, did not care about that. Wait, wait, it's I'm only in the second half of the 8th century the Muslims start to have this criteria that things, in order to be Sahih, they have to go back to Muhammad. And there has to be a complete chain. How many was it? Until he had like 9,000, 6,000? Yeah, it was something. Is there something that was already here? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, there was millions of hadith, many of them fabricated. Yeah, and he, but this he, is why Bukhari and Al Muwatad, they, they went he didn't specifically. Include, yeah. They filtered them, right? The later Muhammad. Yeah. Does that's that not concern you, though? No, and I'll tell you why. For me, yeah. I can go as far as the height and Siski understands this and they earn, yeah. yeah. Well, he quotes on Jasmine. Yeah, Manuel Putin, he does mention this stuff, Putin. Yeah. He mentions how seven of the ten, according to his standards, would be, and he goes on further as well, but it's a big topic. But he says, to summarize his position of Van Putin, he says that seven of them are Mutawatir. He says there's three that are not Mutawatir. No, 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 no. Can you bring That's a misconception. He says all ten? Uh, well, if you go on his blog. you go on his blog. On the claim on, uh, on Twitter. Mayim Van Putin's blog, he has an article about this where he translates Al Jazari, who in the 15th century expanded the canon of acceptable Quran from seven to ten, and he gives his criteria, and he does not include Mutawatir as part of the criteria. Yeah, it's in Twitter. So it does not include Mutawatu as one of the criteria. Who, who, sorry. Yeah. Al Jazim. Which is in where? In his works. In I can give you the name of it if you go on his thing. From where? From, what do you mean? From where? From 15th century, Al Jazim. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's enough to say. Like, what the hell, 15th century? I'm going to go to He's the guy who expanded it from 7 to 10. He's the guy who accepted as a canon that the old one by Ibn Mujahid. Mujahid. Yeah, Mujahid in the, yeah, Mujahid. Mujahid in the 9th, 10th century. Mujahid. Okay, yeah, but then it. later, the 15th century, Al Jazari expands it from 7 to 10. And Al Jazari is like, yeah, it's not Mutawatu. No, no, no. He I said he used, to hold, he used to hold that opinion, but then he asked for forgiveness. He repented of that opinion because he says the more correct opinion is that it's not Mutawatu. That's fine. Okay, so Quran is not Mutawatu. Just one second. Okay, so no, 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 First of all, him saying that it's not a condition that is mutawatir, if he even said that. First of all, I've not seen the reference for that, right? Joey does. Uh, but, Check uh, out uh, uh, his uh, blog. Yeah, yeah, I know. He says, I know he responds to the claim that because Muslims appeal to Van Buren a lot, they yep. used to, and he responds with that. A very incredible academic. This claim is, yeah, I'm not, I'm not disputing yeah. his, uh, his uh, knowledge at all. Good, good. Do I agree with everything? No. Yeah, that's fine. Likewise, fine. Do I agree with everything? Yep, even though I like fine. him. But he is a credible I'm, scholar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Also, the so, same for Shady Nasser. For reference for that, yeah, except for Shady Nasser. Shady Nasser. Like it it but no, no. Too shady. But yeah, too shady. Yeah, too shady for my liking. But listen, on a serious note, though, this thing would go back even to him. I'd have to see the reference. I'd have to see the evidence for that. Now, him saying that it's not a condition, right? Which we understand that when we look and study this as well, the Quran and the study in the history of the Quran, we know it's a condition, right? Um, that when we're told about this, that's, that's no, no. the very thing that's in yeah, question. Yeah, I know. Um, but what I'm saying is that it's clear that doesn't negate the fact that it is mutawata. Saying that it's not, for example, what we is? accept, no, no, it's just an example. Oh. We can accept hadith, right? Mm. We Muslims accept hadith, for example. If the chain is like ahad, if it's one chain, yeah. we can say to accept a hadith, it's not a condition that it has to be mutawata. Does this now mean that we have no hadith as a mutawata? No, if it's a non, it's a non sequitur, it doesn't follow yeah, from yeah, that, right? Fine, yeah, yeah. But the, the, still, the, the main thing is this, right? Because this is a bit like of, of the point. I, it's a good point, a question to ask, but I want to first deal with Mas'ud because that's fine. So Mas'ud, there's just two positions basically. One before is you do this, it. Before you do this, do you concede that as far as you know, Al Jazari does indeed say it's not Mutawatir? I've not seen evidence. No, I'm saying that yeah, based so on what I'm saying, if, if what I'm saying is true, and you go and you find Marim Van Putin who quotes his work, then Al Jazari's opinion no, it's not that is that easy. he did not accept Mutawatir. So first of all, it's not that easy, I'll tell you why. When we take a look at studying the, the scholars, right, Islamic scholars, even if we take a look at like Muslim scholars, right, like Imam Bukhari, for example, he doesn't just write as his Sahih, right? Yeah, he wrote Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hulk of Ali Bad, for example, right? The creative actions of the, uh, the servants, whatever, right? So this book, for example, and many other books as well by other scholars, we don't just look at a quotation from that. It's so in depth, it's so in depth. You look at the manuscripts of this scholar, right? What do the manuscripts, even of a scholar, right? Like Imam al-Bukhari, for example, right? Or Al-Bayhaqi, or any of these scholars, right? Um, Abu Mansur al-Maturidi, um, Abu Hassan al-Ashari. So if he's going for that and using a manuscript, we have to look more than that. We cannot just take it, we have to look at the manuscripts, verify it. This job is way too big, even for me, it's, it's too big. This is why we have scholars who specifically don't go to these scholars, these Western academia as our authority, right? Do they make points? Uh, I see, okay, but they're not your authority, but they are my authority. If it's something, huh? They, they will be mine when I look they into Islam. They are authority. Yeah, yeah, of course. And yeah. are you trying to convince me of your position? 
what I'm saying is that yes, I was built a scholarship. Exactly, right? that's the problem. You didn't answer that. Should, are you trying to convince me of your, position, of your position? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're trying to convince me of your position by yeah. using evidences you know I don't accept. I'm sorry, but you're not yeah. doing good so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, my point is that you're, you're <laughs> wrong. Like you're wrong heretic, to it's like me using the Quran to convince uh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My point is that if you reject scholarship, I don't know where to go. Okay, but I really don't know where to go. But scholarship. Do you do you reject scholarship? No. What do you mean? Or is it just Western scholarship? Is it just Western? Is a very subjective oh, well, you're not using our scholarship. See, my point is, is if you are basically going to say, right, I don't like the Western scholarship, I'll tell you like, what they want. For example, when I you, you make an argument against evidence. you, right, hmm. I may use a scholar if I know the evidence. I wouldn't just use a scholar randomly and say this is the position, but I would use a scholar with the evidence. If the scholar is basing this opinion of uh, concluding it off of Eusebius, for example, I will go to Eusebius's work, like for example, about the papers, book 3, chapter 39, right, where Max uh, Bear of Peter or whatever. I will go to Eusebius's work directly. Eusebius's work, it's not rarely disputed. I mean, there's some people who dispute it, but that to me is like a bit critical. I don't like that approach. No, but no, it's generally it's accepted. So I'll go to that, that text, right? So likewise, when we're talking about this, do I accept academia? If it's something which is verifiable that I myself can go to and I can verify, and we can look at the Muslim scholars as well, historically, yeah. not a 20th century Muslim scholar or Christian yeah. scholar or whatever academic, no, we have to look at our traditions, right? Right, but what if a scholar comments on your traditions? Can you accept his view? Depends. Okay. Do I accept that he has the view? Yeah, but do I agree with the view? No. No, no, no. but can you? What do you mean? Say, for example, Marin van Putin translates Al Jazari and he shows you it and he says, look, Al Jazari never said what to what? Or at least not in his yeah, yeah, that's life. a good point. That's a good Will you point. accept that? That's a really good question. Okay. So if he translates a work from yeah. an Arabic scholar, for example, and he you says, what this scholar about, um, says this, would I accept it? Yeah. It's multiple things. It goes back to the other. I have to verify in the manuscripts in totality. Did this scholar really, does this work say that? Is he is he appealing to one manuscript? Because even when we're discussing Aqidah, Muslim to Muslim, like, uh, we have to take a look at the manuscripts of Abu Masur and Abu Hassan al-Ashari. Well, yeah, but, okay, well, manuscripts is a weak thing to appeal to. For example, in Hadith, you don't really have manuscripts. No, no. You have traces, No, no, you, you have manuscripts of people talking about like, how they knew people who had like, that view. Uh, we have manuscripts but you don't actually have their writings. We have manuscripts yeah. of, for example, Imam Bukhari Sahih. Yeah, yeah but when, though? Yeah, exactly. Right, so, so you wouldn't Bukhari, really appeal to No, 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 no. But manuscripts, for example, and there are some like on rocks and stuff. I think Sean Anthony, you know about Sean Anthony? You read his yeah. work, right? About yeah, I quoted him earlier. Yeah, yeah I Sean know, Anthony. No, but yeah. they're different from recording them. Like, I'm not trying to say yeah, I'm ready, but I want to know. You said, do you want to know Sean Anthony? I'm like, yeah, I know Sean Anthony. Yeah. No, but I, I followed up by saying specifically respect his work about Muhammad Sallallahu where he took out the existence. He gives the examples, right? right? right. Yeah. And he gives, he writes, he talks about things are written on rocks about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi You know, lines, his, he actually rejects most, if not all, of the Syrah. Oh, right. what, sorry? Sean W. Anthony rejects most, if not all, of the zero. That's not a problem at all. Okay, I'm just, just right. begging you away. Even it's like, right. and, and that's another point as well. Like when it comes to the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when it comes to like the early seerah, for example, right? You say like Ibn Ishaq, for example, or Ibn Hisham, right? Yeah. This like, a, if we do, subhanAllah, we have the same standard. I'm showing you our consistency. Our early seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ibn Ishaq, um, Ibn Hisham, what? We verify, if they make a statement, and we cannot verify it, we reject it. For example, I believe in uh, Ibn Ishaq's, um, or Ibn Hisham, sorry, his book on Sira, the Ali Sira, he mentions, for example, Rasulullah torturing uh, a Jewish man for his gold and saying, give me your gold and putting a steel yeah. thing on him. We reject this because they didn't give a chain for it, right? So even yeah. our own scholars, we reject well, it. Well, no, no chain. So, so he's going to accept it. For a lot yeah, of, he's gonna wait, wait, wait. This one is going to accept. This, this, no, no, this is, this is where it gets problematic. I'm joking. This is where it gets problematic because so for me, if I want to establish the historicity of something, or at least more probable than not that something is historic. You're going to go to all the evidence, right? You're yeah, but I'm also going to look at the historical criteria that we have as academics. So I would point to the earliest records. The problem with Islam is that they basically purge a lot of their earliest records. So for example, Sayyid uh, Bukhari, if you look at the six most authentic books of Hadith, they're dated much later than, for example, Ibn Ashaq, right? I know, I know you're so, so the, yeah, pro yeah, the problem I, I have though... Rubik made this argument, right? Oh, I don't know if he, he has. Yeah, he made really, well, this is this is like um, it's mainly big Gabriel problem. Reynolds would make this. And many Daniel people would make this. Daniel was the beginning of the he first did this argument. Uh, he made it very Pro big. Would make this. Michael Cook That's would make fine. this. Yeah, so this argument this. we know about as well. Right. My, my point though is that if if in Islam you have some of the earlier sources saying things and they're mass repeated, there's a lot of ruwiya uh, that goes back. Ruwiya. 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 I don't know if pronounce it for ways. We're talking about Quran now. I don't understand what we're talking about. Wait, different narrations, different. They supposedly go back, right? But they don't go back to Muhammad. They go back to some of the Tabi or Tabi or something like that, right? Some member of the Salah. And they do it in mass. Like they transmit like 50 different ones of them. I know you're talking about based on someone. Yeah, yeah. But my point though is that 
It seems reasonable to me, using the historical approach that we have in critical scholarship, to simply say, way, well, it looks, way, it looks likely, wait, 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 it looks likely that the early Sahaba believed that. No, 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 but you know, it's a good point. You said, you know, it's a good point. It's a misconception. Just go back to Imam al Bukhari, for example. Let's go back to Muhammad. They don't give trains to go back. They don't go back to. I know that's what I'm saying. And you find that weak if they don't go back to the. But the reason, the reason why though is they did not think of it that way. The early Muslim companions did not think it was essential to go back to Muhammad and train. How do you know that? How do you know that? Because they didn't. How do you know that? Because there's tons of very. Oh, so you want to appeal to later evidence? You want to appeal to the later evidence to know what the Sahaba believe, but you don't appeal to that same evidence. No, no, no. Even Ibn Ashraf mentions. Even Ibn Ashraf. Mentions trains, but Ibn the Shaq chains are not complete. We, we can take a look at Ahmed that's Hanbal, that's the whole point. The, the reason why they're weak is uh, partly because they're not complete. No, they're also not mutawatta. No, 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 they're true. just singular chains. True, but there's tons of them. That's not true. So you, you have to believe that Ibn Ashraf just like oh, made way, stuff up or was massively confused about what people believe. Keep in mind, by the way, this is a separate conversation about whether this false. actually happened. Wait, 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 let me just make this one point. One point, one point, and then I'm done. This isn't a question about whether this actually happened. This is a question about what the companions believe. And how do you know what they believe? Because they kept writing it. They kept saying, this guy says this, says this. Oh, but you just this guy says this, says this. No, no, the earliest is Ibn Ashaq. I'm quoting Ibn Ashaq to you. Okay, do you know why we're weak him? that's the earliest. Do you know why the scholars say he's weak? Because because for many reasons. The, first of all, people say his character is in question. For one thing, right? There's that. Second one is that he doesn't give full change. The change is that. Third, they're not mutawata. Most no, of them are ahad. That in of itself is not a reason. First of all, having and narrating things which are ahad. In of if your character is in question, that is enough to make a, a, a sahih or a jayi. Depending on the scholar. Depending on the scholar. Oh no, I think that's, that's not true. That's, that's not true. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, I think that's not true. I'm new to this speaker's conversation. I used to speak online. It's a bit different, yeah? Okay. So when it comes to this, simply narrating things which are ahad is not a problem. We do not weaken someone because they narrate a lot of hadith, which is one singular in chain. But no. the problem it comes, the problem comes when, yeah. for example, Ibn Majah 1944, you know about this, right? The goats eat the sheep. The goat the, the goat eat the, the Quran. Okay, yeah, yeah. We know about this. This is an example to show his weak Why? Because he has uh, he narrates things which are ahad, which yeah. contradict the mutawata. Right. So simply narrating things which are ahad is not enough to say someone's weak. But if they narrate yeah. something which con consistently contradicts that which is what mutawatir yeah. or of more authentic, yeah. which is a principle in hadith, we reject that which is weaker, they contradict. That's why they say he's weak. It's a multiplicity of things. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely. It's a holistic case. And that's why scholars can have independent valuations yes, yes. about the strength of, the, uh, of, of a particular hadith. Yes. My point is, though, is that you can make an argument for the daifness of uh, Ibn Asak's narrations based on the fact his character is in question. The so fact that it's only had ahad. But my point is this. The earliest accounts that we have that have chains are not complete chains. The early Sahaba, the, the Salaf actually in general, did not care about that. Well, well, it's I'm only in the second half of the 8th century that Muslims start to have this criteria that things, in order to be Sahih, they have to go back to Muhammad. And there has to be a complete chain. Um, Ibn Masood Quran. No, but he's you know, as Alistair quote about Ibn Absolute reject the Quran, there's none of them go back to the Prophet. Yeah, that's so that's right. why you want to know his point. My, my point is this according to Dr. Shahab Ahmed, who writes about the one of the early uh, oral traditions that go back, that uh, supposedly the Salaf said about Muhammad is that he was at some point possessed. Uh, or oh, the the yeah. Satan threw words into his mouth and recited them. Oh, yeah. And then Jibreel comes to correct him and then, uh, and then it's all good. The yeah. Satanic, but the point is, is Dr. Shahab Ahmed is a Muslim. Listen. And he the way he Listen. just the way he Listen. justifies Listen. it is he says, look, I don't think this actually happened. It's what I think person. happened cheap, cheap. is that the says, Dr. Shahab Ahmed he, he did his PhD on this, this particular topic. He even did a thing about Ibn about Taymiyyah. This. I know about yeah? the... You can go to academia.ac.uk and read about it. I know, I know. Okay, so his view is that they didn't actually... This never actually happened. But the I companions believed it did. And the reason why is because if he rejects that, he has to explain all these... And he gives 50 different narrations. So, so, 50 different, like, yeah. narrations that say it. I just wanted to add something before I... I, yeah. question, I have a question about that. Um, and I do have to get going soon, but listen. Yeah, sorry. So... Okay, let me think. You said so much, I'm trying to think of which bits. You could just like, say, hey, let me go read that. Let me go read that.
Uh, you said if they don't go back to Muhammad, to, yeah, yeah, what yeah. does that make it for you? Does it's it make it weak for you? What's the early? Nourish and weak. I, I don't view it from the science of it is. I don't think that's yeah, a science. Yeah, I know science. exactly. Because but you use the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you just go with his approach, right? Nobody brings yeah, up the yeah, argument. Yeah, yeah. Reject. But you bring up the argument, though. I know, I know. But I'm going to question that. Because I keep saying Jonathan, though. It's Joshua, though. Joshua, yeah, yeah, Joshua, little it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does write. He rejects the hadith, and he's done some. His work's interesting. It seems very comprehensive. Like from what I saw, I haven't seen something comprehensive. But whether it's valuable, I don't know. Well, that's a whole separate discussion. But yeah, I'm. His works. That's fine. So, no, no, but I have. It's an important. He's making a good point. No, I want to address it because he's actually interested. Oh, he doesn't want to go and argue. Oh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't know what is that. It's spread. Let's continue. No, no, I'm not going to come in. Wait, let me answer that. I came in. I'm the last chance to get here. Good man. It's my last chance to get here. Also, the for the spread is good. I'm from up north, Hull, so it's very far. Oh man. Oh, I'm from Hull, so it's very far. Cool. I just came because so we where you put that, where you put that. where do you put all these things? I know you have got lots of things to do. Like, it's very good. Yeah, so like it it doesn't it matter if you, you've, you've obviously done your homework. No, no, he's saying I'm Quran is okay. I'm not. So my thing is, you don't understand it like this. I for example. Yeah. You understand that we, we don't need to go to uh, vain, Imam Bukhari yeah. Sahih, for example. Why? Imam Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, you're familiar really with Imam Malik, yeah, right? Yes. So, so he's early. the founder of the Malik, Malik yeah, school. Yeah. Malik, yeah. Yeah. So he's predator, right? The yes. Sahih, Imam Bukhari Sahih. Yeah. So Imam Bukhari and uh, Imam uh, Muslim, you know where they get the most, a lot of the narrations from? Yeah, from uh, Malik. Al Muwatta, uh, right? Uh, what, yeah. Al Muwatta, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Al Muwatta is actually, there's many narrations. I've tried to get the book, but it's so hard to get, actually. So, but I've read like from the PDF though, there's many narrations reports where it's just one person in it. From Imam Malik, one person to Rasulullah Sallallahu So you would agree with this, if this becomes yeah, nearly difficult, all... impossible to dispute, right? Compared to like um, where there's like 20 people in the chain, you would agree? It's more convincing, Yani. You would agree with that? Right? Agree with yeah, that. yeah, I think I think that is more convincing. Because Imam Malik, and this is the thing that I don't hear a lot of people speak, and the fact that you knew about that shocked me, actually, I'll be honest, because a lot of people don't know about that, Muslim and non-Muslim. Imam Malik actually had al muwatta right? And then you have uh, Abu Hanif, for example, um, Kitab al athar right? And this is a good one as well, like a bunch of hadith. Now, they've made these collections to show narrations which support their fiqh rulings, right? Mm. You're familiar with this, right? So al muwatta for example, or Kitab al athar this these were written and Compiled, so people get very uh, aggressive here, right? Uh, sometimes. So they wrote these books. To, to it. Include, yeah, no, thank God. They include, they write these books and take narrations to support their rulings, right? Yeah. So just so they know we know when they're going through Sunnah, they support their view by yeah, really. So you would agree that Al Muwatta, for example, if it's the case, because it's not always the case, I'm going to be fair, but there are many instances, right, where you have just one person between it, between Rasul Sallam and also Imam Malik. Yeah. That, um, this is the case. It's likely. It's more like a lot more likely than if it's like ten people. Right? Yeah. The, the issue is though, technology. is that I would I would contrast that, uh, yeah, which on. I think is better, like having a short narration. I think a short a short chain is better. If it's better. if it's mass transmitted at all, because you uh, find a lot like he's having after and more. Okay. Well, then you have many chains. No, many chains, but it's one person between it. So, for example. Okay. Mad, okay, yeah. but it's not the same person. No, it's, it's the same no, person. No, 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 it's then it's like. no longer Mr. Well, uh, if no, you're going to the same yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. it's an no, no, ahad it chain. It depends how far up the chain. But if it's from the beginning, if it's one person, we don't. That's irrelevant. Okay, example, okay. Right? So well, what I would say though is, to me, yeah, I would say, look, if I if there are all these traditions, that something happens, and it comes from the salaf, although they don't meet the criteria of of the uh, of the chain, of the science of hadith, I would say that's actually arguably more reliable than the later stuff. I'll tell you why that's not. That's a good point, actually. I'm going to mention something like this as well. Where did the stuff, where did the stuff come from? I don't understand. Oh, sorry? The little stuff, where does it come from? So if you're talking about like Sahih Abu Khari's work and yeah, whatnot, we'll that's that's going to be later than. No, no, I'm not. No, but Imam, uh, but, uh, Imam, Imam Bukhari Sahih, a lot of it actually comes. I didn't know this actually. Yeah, it comes, it goes about. A lot of it actually comes from Imam. I didn't write in our vacuum. Bukhari didn't write in our vacuum. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, there was prior collection. It's, it's his collection is like written. They destroyed. Yes. How many was it? Until he had like 9,000, 6,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there something that was already hadith? there? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, there was yeah. millions of hadith, many of them fabricated. Yeah, yeah, but this is why Bukhari and Al Muwatta, they, they went he specifically, yeah. they filtered them, right? The later um, hadith. Yeah. And Does that not concern you though? No, and I'll tell you why. Because there were concern many me. many hadith narrations which seem as unpleasing for mm. the Muslim, right? But it's still included. So we were not just only included yeah, all Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did all yeah. these uh, miracles. What about Aisha radiallahu anha? He's married to her. You guys say that's a problem and it's seen as I don't want to get well, onto that. I know. Okay. There, morally, some people say that wasn't like, embarrassing. We don't I think it's a good argument though, right? Uh, Moral wise. Like yeah, uh, just saying well, all it's, 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 
depends if the Muslims that say that it wasn't embarrassing at the time are right or not. So repeat that again. Sorry, it depends if the Muslims that say that that wasn't embarrassing at the time were right. correct or not. No, no, yeah. yeah. But would you? Okay. I was going to ask you. Do you would you make a moral? Would you make an argument that something's false because of that? Would that be one of your arguments or not? Um, so I would actually take a nuanced view on this, and I would say that... Uh, if he came early, I'd speak to him as well. The, the bigger problem with it is that it seems as if Muhammad acted according to revelation that he did not yet have. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, for example, Muhammad had uh, relations with Aisha when she was nine. It seems that that would have not been revealed at the time that he did that. Uh, repeat that, sorry, last so, so there's revelation so in the Quran. The we understand it comes to it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so I tell like, I have uh, four. Oh, no, oh yeah. Allah, I was just going to ask you to absolutely yeah. so, so, fifth, by the way. We can discuss oh, this. Sure. It's not professor child. Definitely, absolutely. No, no, absolutely. No, no, absolutely. I, I okay, just, but, but if I just look at the commentaries, what would they say? Yeah, so we it have a say, for example, we have yeah. uh, no, no, uh, uh, Jalalain. No, 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 no. Jalalain. I mean, I've got Jalalain. I've got Jalalain as the idea. And they say what? Yeah, no problem. What do they, they say? Under, I'm going to tell you. Okay. So they understand it as well. And I'm going to tell you how the fuck I hand this. So us in authority, okay, what makes it permissible, right? Okay, this doesn't sound like an answer. No, I'm telling you an answer. Okay. The earliest scholars which predate Ibn Kathir, Jalalain, I mean, okay. okay. mean by the two Jalalain. Yeah, 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 exactly. There's two. Yeah. Listen by Al Sa'adi. Well, we have even earlier than that. Oh, I can't remember. Okay. Is that the problem Those who were written earlier are the scholars of the Explicit information. Al Hidayah, for example. Like basic books of fifth and Hanafi method, for example, right? Yeah, just like the so al the Imam They understand this referring to the girl who has yeah, reached, men, reached men, puberty, but yeah. hasn't menstruated. I'll tell you what that uh, means. We don't. We say that you can reach men, uh, puberty without menstruating. We don't say that a necessary condition for puberty is menstruation. This is the, the position of the the Fukaha. and. Um, that's how they understand 65.4, and this is a tradition from the early scholars to the later scholars. Like yeah, I think, that, I think that admits the point, though. Because no. if you haven't started menstruation, but you have started puberty, that's still not a sufficient time for you to have sex, right? Oh, to what standards? Before, before you started to have your monthly cycle, Absolutely. you can have sex with someone before they... Uh, your, pu your puberty can, can start, obtain, yeah, but puberty, puberty is in stages, yeah? yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. And, 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 and one of them, which is more of the later one, is the stage. monthly stage. Exactly. Right. right. So uh, first, you, yeah. one of the stages of puberty is your whips, your hips expand, your breasts yeah, develop, pubic hair forms. Right, but my point is that the menstrual... They're prior to menstruating. Right, right. But you need to be you need to be menstruating no, I agree. <laughs> you can't even conceive a baby I'm going to you if you're not menstruating. First of, no, no, just, just if you haven't even began that we're not, part talking, about, we're not talking about having a baby. Consummation does not mean you have a baby. You choose to consummate right, a marriage. Right, so you agree then that you can consummate a marriage why, without having a baby, without the possibility of having a baby. Repeat it, sorry. Yeah, yeah, of course. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Let's say that you can have sex with... women who have babies and now they're not going to get satisfaction. No, 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 no. But if you... The Quran is a general sense about those who have not yet matured to that. I'll tell you the evidence. But they haven't matured to it. I'm going to tell you the evidence. In the Quran, chapter 4, verse 6 as well, you know about this. It talks yes. about mental maturity. Now, that's a very vague term, right? Read Al Qur'an to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's very fine. Al Qur'an to be, we have him in Kathir as well. We have Tabari. Yeah. So they understand this. And Jalalain is actually good for this. I'll tell you why. Ibn Kathir goes very, you know, he goes in depth, right? In his Quran. Um, Jalalain, I like why, because Jalalain gives examples of what it means. Because saying that a girl has to be mentally mature is very vague. We understand it's not like what's mature. Someone could say mature. Well, I don't understand the point. He's saying Aisha is that was a mature. Why no, no, no. no. He's, he's, he mentioned Aisha, then he says the Quran yeah. 65 to 4, where he says, yeah. Those who have not yet menstruated, this he says this allows us to conjure with a girl, a child, pre girl. Yeah, who is not yet menstruated. What does it say, child? Yeah, I don't know. No, he's saying people. Well, the word is, Nisa is used, and that's interesting because there are other parts of the Quran that seem like the word Nisa also refers to what did he say about an Nisa? Nisa for the I'm children? Sure, oh, yeah, he says, and this is an important one actually. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to understand Arabic. He says Nisa for the ch children, like little girls, little So he quotes the Old Testament. And he quotes the story and, and, of when all the young... And he says Nisa, right? Yeah. But he doesn't but say young, you're presupposing you the see, Old Testament to... Well, yeah, but yeah. it's very weird if you don't think of that. I'll tell you right? why it's not weird. Another problem is orphans. Know, no, no, let's go one by one. Orphans uh, if you read, read Al-Qurtubi, Al-Qurtubi even yeah, says, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this, this looks very much like it's talking about children. No, in Surah an Nisa, I, uh, 6. I'll tell you why. Because it talks about so, them maturing, yeah, right? And so then they have guardianship, and when do they receive their inheritance? What's, what's yeah, the criteria yeah. for a current current for a woman to get married? Do you know or, what's the one to come? Or what's it, what are the Having criteria? achieved maturity. Only one thing alone? Yep. I know, I want to finish. Well, you can break that down into no, many things. Is it only one thing alone mentioned? No. According to the Quran. Yeah, for, 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 someone, for a woman ready for marriage. Is only one thing alone mentioned? Is only the uh, puberty alone? 
what dreams? Is there any, you know, is well, there anything the, wanting mention? The Quran thing? makes it cl well. The Quran terms in in wait the it's way my whole point is. I'm, wait, wait, Quran, is I'm trying to frame it and frame it as holistically as I can. No, but the question I'm asking is: there anything else mentioned? I agree that. Oh, um, okay. So, all right. So, Surah so, uh, Nisa ayah six. It talks about what it means to be mature, and it talks about. Being ma uh, marriageable age. Okay, okay, you, I'm asking the first for your answer. Hmm? You talk about comprehensive understanding of the Bible when we ask the question. So this is about the whole entire Quran or comprehensive understanding. Oh, okay. to the Quran. Yeah. Did the Quran only give um, the biological puberty for maturity and ready for marriage, or does it doesn't give other things as well? Does it give anything else? To my knowledge, it doesn't explicitly say things like. Uh, you, know a woman is, you know a child is maturing into a woman when X, Y, Z I'm asking more detail, but does it give anything else apart from the puberty? It doesn't give puberty. It, it gives menstruation. That's yeah, the whole yeah, point. I mean, that's like in the menstruation, but does the Quran give anything else apart from that? Uh, not that I'm aware of. You can break four, six and down. This, and this because, is the, well, well, tell me, tell me. Can you tell me? I can tell you. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the Quran talks about the soulness of yeah. mind. As well, mental uh, soulness. Yes, it you does. Well, wait, 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 no, no. But, but so, so, yeah, yeah, let me explain. Four, six, you're referring to four, six. One, three, six. Four, six, it separates soundness of mind from marriageable age. No, because no. they're separate. And no. Al-Qurtubi says they're, they're separate. separate. No. No. The, no. the soundness is... We're going to talk about the Arthur and Alistair. Should we read it? Let's read it. We're going to find in them. Let's read it. We're going to find in them. He's talking about mental and then, no, no, and then it says... Uh, and mental me maturity. Let's read it. No, no, but you don't let's mention that mental maturity. I agree that... Can you stick with me for two minutes before I go? Okay, yeah. I have to go two minutes. I really... That's in terms of all things being old enough. There's many criteria before a woman can be married. It does say marriageable age. The wallet permission also needed. That's really, man. No, no, but just... The Quran itself does attribute... By the way, it's not translated in Quran to me. Just so you know. The Quran is not translated in English on... Uh, Aisha Buley is translating it. I have the first... Four books. She's translating it, but on Quran.com it's not, though. I'm not looking, no, also, I'm just looking at the actual verse. Is she going to finish it all or no? No, no, no. Uh, I want to get some, but they're very, yeah. Well, I like her. No, no, the there's, there's, there's a reason. Once again, there's a question of married woman by seeking permission of the Guardian, folks. Did Allah say that? I, I have one second, my friends. Listen, but Chris, uh, you understand okay. four verses. And you, test the orphans and their abilities until they reach marriageable age. Yes. Then if you perceive in them sound judgments. So it predicates So it's two judgment? separate. No, sound judgment. But, it no, but the, there have been differences of opinion about what this means. That's yeah, why I'm holding out her to be. And to that of Jalalain, Ibn Kathir, Wait, so, so for example, well. our to be says that marriageable age refers to uh, pubic hair. No, Basically. this is the position. No, no, that's two different uh, argument. That no, doesn't, no, no, no. But I'm quoting, I'm quoting a scholar on what that means. He says, soundsman of judgment is determined by how a woman I'm reacts with her husband. Okay, listen, Chris. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. Okay. So it is a condition in the Hanbali Madhab, pubic hair is a condition. Does woman consent need as well? Does Quran mention that woman has to give consent? Oh, I, I consent don't is something that. which no, is No, does Quran mention that she has to give consent herself? Does Quran mention that? Does the Quran, the Quran does it mention the woman have to give consent before well, she can? Brother, we respect. I want to hear this man speak. No, but I'm I saying to you, to be honest, there's over five things mentioned in the Quran where you pick out one thing. I, said, I, I would love to hear them. If I'm you can prepare them in a list for me and then tell me, I would love to hear them. I don't want to interrupt because this is held out of respect. This guy is dangerous, man. You put chain in our concept, bro. But listen, so the, it's important by Qurti why he holds this position, actually. In the Hanbali Madhab, they take the hadith as a hujjah where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Basically, we know the. Okay, I don't want to. Let me think. I don't want because I don't want to give any mission or go too much with. I want to keep it simple. <clears throat> so there's a narration where Rasulullah Sallam. There was a military who he attacked, right? A military he got back, okay? Who attacked him first? He gave them warnings, and then he attacked, okay? Now those who were spared was the boys who were who uh, didn't have pubic hair. Now because that's one evidence that the Hanbali Madhab say this is a hujja upon us. It shows that he, the, the people who's unalive they obtained puberty. They was responsible. Evidence was that they obtained pubic hair because there was a boy who said I didn't obtain pubic hair. I didn't. I was amongst those who wasn't unalive. This is one of the hujja. But the the Quran chapter four verse six it predicates marriageable age being with what. Uh, Mental maturity. No, I'll tell you why. Test them until they obtain stuff. mental maturity, and this is understood by Ibn Kathir Jalalain. Al-Tabari. I quite like Quran to be. I'm quite to be quotes others' opinions. Quran to be makes mistakes. For example, yeah. I'm going I'm to tell you a mistake. What about I'm quoting other, other people's no, no, opinions? You quote the individual that you like. You don't quote the majority. You quote Ibn Kathir. And it's democratic. Wait, I'm quoting it because it's fresh in my mind because I recently read it. Because when the majority of scholars say opposing it, you choose the one that. I'm going to summarize it with a standard because I haven't done too long. That means that means that means you're cherry picking. Thank you. Cherry picking. I tried emailing. I tried the comments on your YouTube. 
But listen, so we say menstruation is an example, and we say that having a baby which shows baby, signs yeah, of yeah, yeah. Now, a lot of people this misunderstood well. this as well, though. I'll tell you yeah. why. Mm. People say, oh, because you can have a baby and that's a sign of puberty, it means you can have uh, intercourse prior to puberty. That's a misunderstanding, actually, and that's an understanding commonly misunderstood by those who look into uh, Al-Mukhtasar by Al-Qudri, right? And I had the same misunderstanding, so I went to an Imam and I studied it with an Imam, that's why we studied these books with Imams, it's important. Another thing, now, ask Allah will agree, and most of you don't know as well, to marriage, a woman to marriage, there's no reciprocate enough arm. The marriage, yeah, the okay. the the Greek Greek many Muslims don't know this. Like, I don't know, to call call to two or something? Or I'm just saying. Give me my number if you like, I don't mind. contact Before a woman marriage, just email me. Is that alright? What's your email? There cannot be no use because of this. Well, um, well, it's Chris. Yeah, I put it on the end of my video. You're not about marriage, you're going to be armful with that physically, mentally, spiritually. In the same way, it's not even hard to get safe. It's a very, very big, very but bad most, example. Most of okay? don't know this kind of very, um, so many It's not a very nice example, country. but it's a good example be. by a teacher. Um, I've seen online. So we say that if it's the case that uh, had means a prescribed punishment, okay? There's no prescribed punishment for someone who commits bestiality, but it's still punishable. But we mean by that there's no explicit. Like, this is the exact punishment, sir. Sure. But it doesn't mean, so someone may say in a, in a book of fiqh, for example, there's no had punishment for this. This means permissible. No, it's just stating that. Likewise, we're stating no, that, for the example, the, the, if the a girl gets pregnant, right? Those and was before 90, puberty, I mean, this is something impermissible. Yeah. But it's a sign, it's still used as a sign to show she obtained puberty, right? Whether it's permissible or not, it's a, a separate part of his book in, in that's talked about, right? So, that's that. So, yeah, it's either menstruation, was getting pregnant, or it's a hard age, right? It's a hard age for men. But Quran actually mentions wet dream as one of the standard criteria. When I was in the evidence, I actually wrote a whole thing. I made a whole thing called Seb when I was making studying for this. It's, it's, it's interesting. Point. I like this. So 65.4. We go to. Well, what did I just say? Sorry? He said, What dreams? This is, okay, the Quran chapter 24, verse 59. Yeah. This is the Quran chapter 24, verse 59. Oh, it's good you have the app as well, yeah? Yeah, man. No, no, no. I like to have the app, but you have to download. It's good you should download oh. the stuff. But. So I have it on my actual phone, so I literally just tap a button and it appears. That's good. Like, I, like I recommend it. It's, it's quicker to do so. so 59. Yeah, chapter yeah. 24 verse 59. It attributes balagha, so which means uh, reaching the age, right? Balagha is. Uh, and when the children among you reach puberty, let them ask permission as those bef before have done. Thus does Allah make clear to you his verses and Allah is all knowing and wise. Yes, sir, if you pass to me, I can own it. I'm sorry for you. Yeah. Wait, wait. So if you take a look at. Okay. Let me look at the. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the Arabic. So, what is it say? What is it say? What is it say? Yeah. Okay. And if you take a look further, it's. Uh, let me just one second. God is so small. Al Hulm. Okay. So Hulm refers to dreams, wet dreams. Okay. If you look at the tafsir, okay, go to. If I do this, will it, will it show me here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one says. Which one is the one? Either balagha. So if uh, reach the age, right? So when reach the children among you. The puberty, let them ask permission. So, Al Hilm, look, look, look. So, Al Hilm, Hilm will, right? means wet dream, though. Hilm, okay. Oh. You can look this up, I'm not joking. Let's, what the evidence so, for this. potential oh, interpretation yeah. is wet dream. No, 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 no. no. Hilm literally means wet dream. But the reason, oh, okay, so the reason, they're not, the they're not they like puberty, The reason they yeah. say puberty is because they're looking at here, Balagha. The Quran says that to reach Balagha, you have a wet dream. So, that, with they're concluding it by saying just puberty. Oh, okay. because oh, that's that's a, and Ibn Kathir yeah. actually talked about this really good. Um, and they actually now this is a different type of position though regarding what you is it a necessity or is it a, a condition like not a necessary condition but is it something which is a sign to show uh, puberty right yeah. and that's the big topic it's really good but Al Fawzan they're very consistent though 65 four specifically 65 four that it refers to the one who's obtained puberty but it's not menstruating Al Fawzan talks about this and Al Hidayah sorry uh, if the video is recording Al Hidayah. If you type uh, Al Hidayah, no, no, so I'm just going to bring some of this. Al Hidayah and um, 
if you take a look at uh, Fawzan has a book introduction to the Hanbali Madhab, it's really good. They say, likewise, those who have obtained puberty but lack menstruation, this goes back to uh, Al Qudri's Mukhtasar, where he does not say that a necessary condition is uh, menstruation. That's one of the conditions. But you oh, not read, only. Yeah, for example, the Victorian era, girls menstruated at the age of 15 to 16, 15, 16, right? But it's not fair to say they only obtained puberty in 15, 16. But it's what it's what it is. Yeah. So it's one sign, but it's not a necessary condition. So, and also, Nisa, min al Nisa, ikum, chapter 65, 4, is the beginning from your woman. Now, at Tabari, and uh, I can get the reference, I, I emailed you the reference for sure, and this is what you mean. Yeah, so I'm definitely cool, going to provide it. No worries. And so he says that in Nisa, refer, and this is his position, by the way, yeah. it's a different position, but he specifically says that Nisa only refers to an adult woman. And this is good, actually. Yeah, there, there, there is, is an opinion that that is the case. So, um, I just find it I know your very difficult. It. Yeah, like a, it's a hard yeah. reading to accept it only means And a lot of them, the reason against this argument, like Ibn Kathir, yeah. for example, does not hold this. What's the evidence for this? In chapter four, when he talks about orphans, he uses yeah. the word Nisa. Yeah. He says an orphan can be not be called Nisa. Yeah. His evidence is based off of a hadith where Aisha radiallahu anha yeah, says that. To be yes. This as well. The problem is, however, if you go to this hadith, it's weak. Yeah. However, at that time, they did not know this. So this is an interesting point. And um, this hadith which Aisha radiallahu anha says, there is no, uh, an, there is no orphan, what is the word? Um, an orphan is not a woman, is the summary of it. He says that an orphan cannot be called woman, right? Uh, Nisa can, uh, sorry, refers to that. So that therefore, if the Quran uses Nisa referring to an orphan, he refutes that. Okay. But the problem is that we, we is it alright if we, we yeah. wrap up a little bit? Because yeah, yeah. I've got like but the uh, is that, is that hadith is weak. That's like, why some scholars. And now in twenty minutes here, then I go back. I got this stuff I want to do. Oh, well, I'm saying, I'm, 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 I'm saying any right now. I'm just saying. Do you want to give a final speech? Can be open. Can be open. Oh, okay. It's really nice discussion, though. Have you got what sort of sign we can get with your? I have this. I have YouTube. I debated Chris Claus. You know what that is? Yes. Text Chris. I'm sorry, but. You should watch that one day. It's very yeah, good. Yeah, it's very good. It. Yeah, yeah. It's very, you end up leaving and insulting the prophet. But, anyways, no, it was a nice discussion with you as well. I wish we could have gone through um, Masoud and uh, Ubay bin Ka'ab. But the, the, the view on that explained that Ubay bin Ka'ab, they say that it's the du'at. Um, and this chain actually itself, Muhammad Mustafa al Azami actually says that the throws it out is weak, right? Because there's two generations in the chain missing. Two people in the chain right. missing, so there's a two generation yeah, gap. Yeah, I see. This is all Muhammad like multi, multifaceted, though. See, I'm going to critique that as exactly. a thing. And so ultimately, my, 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 yeah, the way that I'm just going to end it is 589 has no invariance to so go back to these companions. And that is included in the school of fiqh. And I think that's. I don't I think you're, I don't different think Arabic Arabic is, like, uh, if, yeah, if it's check a valid it variant. Now, this specifically, it would, I'm saying it's part of the Qur'an. We can look this up and we can have a discussion. I'm, I've yeah, got yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be really intrigued if it is part of the Qur'an. To my knowledge it isn't, but... Perhaps yeah. the, uh, the Qur'an Kabbalah New Testament. I really enjoyed that. But oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, I love that as well. Even though you keep them separate. Oh, what's your name? What's your name, sorry? Omar. 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 Chris. But thank you for the chat. I really appreciate it. really nice. I appreciate it. Even though you keep them separate. Over there, I I had a really good conversation with Omar over here. Uh, who is a Muslim? I assume a Sunni Orthodox Muslim. And George here, <laughs> who uh, I happened to catch him having a chat with, with Omar. But uh, it was interesting because he's obviously studied some stuff and he wanted to bring that up at Speaker's Corner. And I thought, brilliant, this is the kind of stuff that I relish from. I like intellectual debates, I like having the opportunity to defend the Christian faith and to proclaim the supremacy of Christ over all false ideologies and false religions. Psalm 110, right? To be under the feet of our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. So, we talked about New Testament uh, textual manuscript uh, differences. We brought that up. We would look at the Gospel of Mark, the longer ending of Mark. He was saying how this means X, Y, and Z. But I think his, his actual attacks on that were a lot weaker than perhaps he anticipated. Because general scholarship, I think, doesn't pose this as an issue for the doctrine that is held by the church. We don't consider ourselves to hold the same position that Muslims do. That our Bible fell down from heaven and the, uh, and the disciples of uh, Jesus just picked it up one day and went, oh, this is pretty cool. We'll no, that's not what we believe. But Muslims do believe that there was an actual book that came down to them. Therefore, their understanding of preservation is different from ours. So when you understand these distinctions, the differences are not problematic for us Christians, but they're very problematic for Umar here. Then I brought the case against him. I brought the case against Islam. I talked about Ubay ibn Ka'b and Abdullah ibn Masud. Surah Al-Maida, Surah 5, Ayah 89. There is known Arabic differences in words 
where they had an additional word in Arabic meaning consecutive, which changes the Sharia, which finds its way into the fiqh, into the madhabs today, into the schools of law today in Islam. And they differ about it. That to me demonstrates how there are absolutely different Arabic Qurans. There is not one Arabic Quran, there are many Arabic Qurans. So Muslims, abandon Islam, abandon Muhammad and turn to your Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you all. I hope you have a great day. Well done, Iceman. Welcome back, Iceman.